Uh, well, obviously, uh, it feels good to get this uh, the first win here. Um, proud of the team, uh, just the way we battled um, the whole game. Um, probably the thing that stands out to me is the uh, uh, third quarter. Um, you know, Georgia Southern made that run at us and hit back to back threes and, and took the lead there. Um, you know, we have really struggled in third quarters as of late. And that's one of those runs that we probably, well, we have, we've struggled with throughout the year, how we respond to it. And uh, it was really neat to see us actually respond to it the right way uh, and fight, um, fight through that. Um, individually, uh, obviously, Jada, uh, offensively, she was uh, really, really good. She gave us a threat, not only uh, against their zone, but even their man. Uh, she was able to get open and got some wide open shots. And, but I also think, um, uh, you know, our defensive pressure, I thought Star Taylor was really good. I thought she impacted the game early on with the pressure. Uh, and then I can't say enough about uh, Lauren Bradshaw and Madison, the way they battled on the boards. Um, and again, an area we have struggled with all year. Uh, those two were really, really good at rebounding today and, and limiting up their opportunities. If you have a question, please hold up your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Questions for Jada Ford. Hi, Jada. Coach mentioned the turnaround there in the third quarter. I think it was a 14 nothing run. You had a couple of steals, about eight points. What was the key to that quick turnaround y'all made? Um, I guess you could say just slow down and play the way we know how to play, not forcing anything, just trying to get it into the post and not take perimeter shots first and just get it to them first, and then like our perimeter shots will open up. Jada, how you doing? Hey, a game like tonight, uh, what does this do for your confidence? Obviously, your first tournament, but not just that, coming back from the injury that you had. Um, I was just really pumped up for this game. Like, I just did not want to go home and need to get my teammates, so we had to step up to play and just come, come play the way we have to know how to play. Questions for Jada? Jada, we will release you at this time to rejoin your team. Thank you for your time. We will continue with questions for Coach Boyer. Please hold up your hand if you have a question, and we'll get a mic to you. Hey, Coach, how big down the stretch was free throw shooting for you guys when, yeah, I think there was about a seven and a half, eight minute stretch where you didn't get a field goal? Well, I think, I think two things, and that's a, the, that's a great observation, because that was the first thing I, when I grabbed the stat sheet on my, I, my first reaction was, wow, we went two of 11. We were 18% from the field in the uh, second half. And then you scroll it, you look down the, the 11 and 14 from the free throws. So um, obviously making the free throws is critical. Um, more importantly is getting to the free throw line. Um, you know, we were really aggressive. Uh, guards were off the dribble. And we got them into the double bonus early. And, and as we've seen over the last two years, that is such a critical part of the women's game, uh, the way the you know, five fouls, you get into double bonus. It is a critical component of our game nowadays. And being able to get into that double bonus so quickly um, gives you a chance. And then, and then the follow through with making the free throws was a big part of it. Question in the front. Coach, several times t uh, tonight, uh, you know, you sit here with trying to control Butler and Butler down there. And times you were double teaming, triple teaming. One thing I noticed there, the timing of some of your double teams and triple teams, it seemed like they would go in and, and triple team, but knew the right time to back off and get back out on the perimeter. What what were you telling the girls on the timing of that? Well, it, it wasn't so much what I was telling them. Um, it, it more so than anything is, is I, I would like to think you know, our, our front line took personally what happened at our place. Uh, you know, she scored 28 at our place and all our post combined at 13. And I, I haven't asked them this, but our post players looked like they took it personally. Um, they really battled. And again, Madison and Lauren, um, just defensively, they're so long. And, and again, I, I looked here initially and, and I thought maybe, you know, between Madison and Lauren, we had five block shots. It felt like we had more than that um, because they just seemed like they did such a good job of making her have to score. Uh, over them and, and tough shots. She still made some tough shots late. She's, she's good. Uh, she still made some tough shots late. But I, I just, I liked it more about the way our post players took it personally and went about her. 
Coach, two-part question here. Uh, first of all, Madison Heckert, uh, playing as many minutes as she did tonight uh, in relief of Talon, who was in foul trouble, your thoughts on her? And then second part of that, being able to see these freshmen grow up right in, right, front, right in front of your eyes. I mean, you mentioned Star, obviously what Jada did, and then seeing Madison and so on and so forth. I mean, some of these younger players, being able to see them grow up. Well, it, uh, I, I thought Madison was really good. I, I, and it's, it's, it's one of those things where, again, you, you look at the stats, she 2 of them, <coughs> 0 for 5 and 3. You know, it, it doesn't look like Madison could impact the game. But I'm telling you, she impacted the game. Just on defense, her uh, ability to contest uh, Butler, her rebounding, um, you know, her ability to just, just make simple passes, move the ball on the offensive end for somebody that's 6 4. Uh, she was really good today. I, I want maybe maybe her best game to this point. Um, and again, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet. And, um, and then again, yeah, you know we've um, you know there's there's been signs of this all year long uh, with these freshmen. They just keep getting better. I, again, I thought Star probably her best game in, in, a, in a while, and I thought she was very confident. And she and it got started because of her defense. Her pressure was really good. Um, you know, Jada hits shots. Uh, Talon had a tough night, but Madison made up for it. Um, you know, Peyton in you know, only eight minutes, but I thought she was a positive. She came in and really pushed the ball for us as well. So, again, I, I thought each of these freshmen did some good things today for us. Um, you know, we, we didn't shoot the ball well, particularly in the first half. Uh, picked up a little bit in the tempo in the second half. Uh, you know, it's just we never seemed to get uh, – some offensive rhythm going. Uh, when we played down there first time, uh, you know, we got the ball inside, we attacked the rim, uh, we did some things aggressively, and, and uh, you know, Arkansas State did a good job of taking some things away from us tonight. So, uh, uh, just a different type of game than we had uh, 10 days ago down there. Questions for Coach? Coach, talk about the difference in rebounding um, from the first game. Yeah. Um, we didn't get on the offensive glass anywhere near like we did the first time. And, uh, you know, um, basketball is such a funny game. You know, I'm watching Georgia State playing the first game, that, or the, the game before us tonight. And I think the Ponder kid didn't score. And she had 20 something against us Saturday. And she hit the game winner tonight. She, you know, she had a great look and just didn't go back. Basketball changes from night to night. And a lot of it's shooting. But, you know, uh, rebounding was, was a key. Bradshaw really hurt us on the glass tonight. We just had trouble keeping her off and very mobile. And, and uh, a lot of times she's starting from the outside coming in. If you don't go get a body on her, she's going to, you know, uh, really attack the rim on you. So, uh, yeah, we I think we only had, what, uh, nine offensive rebounds tonight. I think we had 19 or something like that last time. So, uh, big part of the game. Any more questions for Coach Drown?